Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and today we're going to talk about the different types of casual gamers there are because there are a few. Um, you know, normally people think of the person who really doesn't have time or doesn't play video games often. That is just one person, one type of person that is part of the casual gaming space. And today, before we get into the video, the sponsor of this video today is you guys over at steamit.com liking those videos, bringing in that beautiful sweet steam tokens that I can actually use to actually not have to go to a job and actually make stuff for a living. Wow, I, it's pretty cool. Anyways, we're going to get into this video. So let's explain the elephant in the room. The casual gamer who does not have a lot of time to play games or doesn't play games, you know, a lot of... A lot of the time, really. This kind of gamer, they might know a lot about games, you know, or they might own a bunch of games, but they really don't play a lot. And most of the times, these are people who are parents or who work a lot. Those are kind of the two main aspects. There are people who, video games are kind of like their thing they do when they're bored, or maybe they just have one particular game they like to play with one particular friend at a certain time. I know, like, one time I got really I into YouTube. I was making, like, three videos a day. I became that casual gamer, and I only played, like, Siege on the weekends with my friends. So, really, that kind of casual gamer is the obvious one. The next type of casual gamer is one who plays a lot of different games. And right now, I'm kind of this... Right now, I'm this casual gamer. I'm the one that plays a bunch of different types of games. They really don't care about being good at the game more so they care about kind of just having fun and if one game has too many toxic lobbies they'll switch to another game this was actually Devin and I's original plan when we bought well I bought PUBG is we play Call of Duty or PUBG then I stopped liking Call of Duty so I only played PUBG and like Rainbow Six and all that so you know I'll switch around games you know I'll go from PUBG to Rainbow Six and uh, sometimes I'll check out a game on the computer. Every once in a while, I'll turn on RuneScape. You know, all these different little games all bring together, you know, my my nerd time, especially on weekends. I have a lot of nerd time, and it, it is populated by different video games. Really, to me, these are the types of two types of casual gamers. Now, for me, you know, these are two types of casual gamers. What do they have in common to make them casual gamers? And I think it's... The games themselves that these people gravitate towards. We can't have games that take a lot of time to learn, right? I used to be hardcore into Rainbow Six Siege. Hardcore! Alright? And I stopped playing it. I went back to it, you know. And I'm not getting better at it. Well, I kind of am. But I'm not getting worse at it. And my skill level is kind of stagnating. But it's still a rewarding game. Right now, if you go to Call of Duty, for me, the game is less rewarding, but the skill level's still there. So definitely, having a game reward you for things you do, which is why MMOs are actually pretty. Get you can take MMOs seriously, but a casual crowd would really like MMOs because MMOs reward you for everything you do. Just take RuneScape for example. I used to get on like just about an hour a day. And, like, level up mining every couple levels. And it would be fun for me because I got rewarded for my things. I think skill curves are also something that really impact whether a game is part of the casual crowd or the not-so-casual crowd. Let's just take PUBG, for example, right? PUBG, at least solo, you know, when you're with duos and teammates, it's kind of more fun to just mess around in PUBG. But if you're solo that's going to have a really hard time of drawing in the casual crowd if the skill curve was too high and there was a low reward system. See, this is how PUBG avoids it. High skill curve, yes, but I think the reward system trumps the skill curve because you know every time you play PUBG, you learn more and more and more. You learn to loot faster. You can see yourself over the games looting faster, figuring out how to use different equipment, while also secretly improving your aim and knowledge of the map, and eventually you become really good at the game without really having to, you know, develop tr almost training strategies for yourself. You don't need an esports coach to make you good at PUBG. You just, the game is built to where you just got to play the game, and you get good at it. So I think if a game is based on wins, and the wins aren't rewarding, 
and there's a high skill curve that's not going to appeal to a casual crowd, right? Even it might be a high difficulty game, but if there are high rewards and even if you do bad, you get some rewards, then it's going to help out with that casual crowd. Now, there's some games like Call of Duty where it seems like there's 99% of the people are casual. There's 1% professional. Uh, or I guess I wouldn't say necessarily professional, just high skill players. And that becomes an interesting situation because while it is a low skill game, it is also low reward. So you have to figure out how to balance that out. But really, that's it for this video, guys. The two types of gamers. We got the casual ones with no time and the casual ones who want lots of different experiences. Which one are you more like? I know sometimes I sometimes take a game very seriously. Sometimes I take it very casually. I'm kind of more on the side where I need a bunch of different games to really keep me entertained. But that's it. Thank you for watching. You can also tell me if you enjoyed in the comments below. Subscribe if you're new for more casual gaming videos. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games. And I will see you in the next episode, stream, vlog, or steam it post. Whatever I decide to make.